I'm Marianne Aaron Bureau with your FastCast digital headlines for this Wednesday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we're following in disaster situations, communication is key for first responders. During 9-11, lives were lost because firefighters and police couldn't communicate. Now much of that has been resolved with FirstNet, which is run by AT&T. The company showed off some of the equipment first responders are using. FirstNet is primarily a cell phone line that's dedicated to first responders. It uses the same broadband system as regular cell customers but public safety gets priority. FirstNet also has equipment that can boost cell phone coverage or bring it to areas where there's no coverage during a disaster. And the Anchorage Assembly is demanding answers from the Bronson administration regarding a challenge to municipal election results from this year. The meeting is scheduled for Friday and is expected to address a complaint filed by Bronson's former chief of staff, Sammy Graham. Part of this surrounds concerns over a policy regarding unauthorized USB devices potentially intentionally or unintentionally altering voting data. The assembly says a related policy was created and published on a non-public municipal website mere hours before the complaint was submitted and assembly leadership wants to know how the people who filed the complaint knew about it. To have an executive a chief of the municipality create a fake policy and allow a member of the public to assert it as an actual policy at just the time when an election is being certified, it's just too many coincidences. It seems like it was an effort that was organized and we have a duty to understand how it was organized. Assembly member Christopher Constant there expects Mayor Bronson's chief of staff, Mario Byrd, to attend the meeting. Alaska's news source has reached out to the Bronson administration for comment on the story, and we have not heard back at this time. And later today, ahead of a big meeting next Tuesday, the Anchorage Assembly Committee on Housing and Homelessness is set to meet at City Hall. On the agenda are a couple of major items, the 2023-2024 cold weather shelter plan for those experiencing homelessness and the lease for the use of the former Golden Lion Hotel as the city eyes it as an option for permanent low income housing. Those are your fast cast digital headlines for this Wednesday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.